This is the story of a concept car taking part in an Alpine rally. A car that serves to test a revolutionary drive concept. The Wheel Hub Drive by Scheffler, installed in the Ford Fiesta e-wheel drive. Here, all the components necessary for driving and braking the car are accommodated in the wheel rims. Behind the steering wheel were Professor Peter Gutzmer, Chief Technology Officer at Scheffler, and Professor Pim van der Jagt, Managing Director Research and Advanced Engineering at Ford. The two of them piloted the concept car through the Alps for three days at the 4th Silvretta Electric Car Rally in Montafon, Austria, which was held simultaneously with a traditional Silvretta classic for vintage cars. The field of electric cars included both close-to-production prototypes and volume-produced vehicles from major international automobile manufacturers. These have already advanced far beyond the trial stage. Testing under such extreme conditions in the mountains offers an opportunity to gain a whole range of new insights. It is especially gratifying for the team to see that the concept car is performing even better than expected. This is the first time we've been on tour in the Alps with our wheel hub drive. We knew in advance that we were likely to face difficulties in terms of battery capacity, but much to our surprise we made it to the first necessary refueling stop. We covered nearly 80 kilometers despite some really steep mountain passes. Already we can see our product has good potential. This potential is clearly noticeable during the dynamic, noiseless and emission-free ride through the Silvretta Alps. The Scheffler development vehicle was right at the forefront of rally participants. <laughs> However, thorough preparations lay behind this. We started to build the vehicle back in November 2011, which means the car has been in existence in this form for about 20 months now. We spent roughly one week gearing up for this event, simulating the legs of the rally on the test stand as well as trying to calculate the cruising range and finding out about recharging points. But the car is a development vehicle, and the two pilots are well aware of this. Well guys, we're in emergency mode now. Okay, so if it's downhill after the next few bends, then we can drive on. Otherwise, we'll have to find a recharging point. Yes, we're gonna drive on. We'll make it to our destination. But in fact, the goal of this electric car rally was not to test the battery range. It was all about testing Scheffler's e-wheel drive something that will enable completely new car designs for the megacities of the future. After all, a car without internal combustion engine and gearbox will offer much more space for passengers and luggage. This is one of the reasons why Ford and Scheffler have been working together on this drive concept. We are cooperating with Scheffler in many different fields, among other things in the field of engine and chassis systems. We've already completed some joint projects, for example, one concerned with roll stabilization. During one of our meetings, we came to discuss the issue of wheel hub drives. This is, of course, very interesting for us from the vehicle point of view, since this solution offers incredible packaging advantages. And so, we launched this project. It's been running for two years now, and it is extremely successful. And now we're discussing the next development step which is how we can achieve volume production readiness. However, it will still take several years before we will be seeing larger numbers of electric cars on our roads. Time that will be required mainly for the development of efficient batteries. Major automobile manufacturers such as VW, Daimler and Ford were fully agreed on this during an international press meeting with Professor Pim van der Jagt and Scheffler CTO, Professor Peter Gutzmer. What we have now, after three successful days of testing, is a large amount of data and experience for Scheffler's research and development department. 
All in all, things went very well. We didn't have a single defect on the critical wheels or the wheel hub motor. And we knew right from the beginning that we would be likely to face certain problems regarding the cruising range, since this aspect was not one of our design criteria. But in fact, even this was quite good. We covered nearly 90 kilometers, so this means our product is highly efficient, and this is indeed a good result. After all, we just wanted to measure our prototype against electric vehicles that are close to volume production, or are volume produced already. Where are we compared with them? And now we're delighted with the knowledge that our performance is pretty good. That's motivating for the future, and I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate everyone in the team on this splendid success. A success on the road to developing the cars for the day after tomorrow. Until then, the Scheffler e-wheel drive will undergo many more tests to ensure that one day the concept car will join the ranks of volume-produced electric vehicles.